To use a 3D layer, click on this box underneath the cube looking icon. This will add new properties to your layer, specifically new transform options and material options and geometry options. Let's take a look at them all. To start, your new transform option is something called orientation. To start, your new transform option is something called orientation. In addition, your rotation control is now split into three different axes. You can think of orientation as rotation controls, but under one roof. So if you click and drag any of these values, you'll rotate this object around that specific axis. You also may have noticed that every original transform option now has a third number. This is the Z axis. Originally, we've just been working with the X and Y axis for your transform controls, which is like the horizontal and vertical, but the Z axis is like the depth of your 3D space. The larger the number, the further away the object is, while the smaller the number, and in After Effects case, negative, the closer it gets to the camera of the composition. Now, geometry options are things like extrusions, which give a literal layer of depth to layers like text layers. But in order to use them, you'll have to switch from classic 3D to Cinema 4D renderers. With that enabled, you now can use the geometry options to change what it looks like in this area. For instance, now you can actually use the bevel depth, hold bevel depth, and extrusion depth to actually see them. In the normal 3D render, you cannot see things like extrusion depth. Let's give this a value of 300 so you can clearly see the back end of the bevel. What we'll do to fix that is go to Front, Color, RGB. Now underneath this animator, we can select what we want the front color of this to be. We can also add bevel colors, uh, side colors, and back colors. This will allow you to change everything and allow people to see what the different sides of the shape are. So in this case, we'll do something very simple and give different colors just in a simple grayscale to add the depth here. So what you can see here is obviously just extrusion but you can go further back by adding bevel depth here. Now obviously you can't see it because bevel style is not set to anything. So we'll set this to angular. And you can now see this light gray is the bevel. If you want to prevent the holes in a letter from being beveled as well, make sure to set the whole bevel depth to 0%. Otherwise, you can have it at 100. And like I said, the extrusion depth makes it seem like a 3D model. Material options. This works in conjunctions with lights and other 3D layers, and I highly recommend you check them out. I haven't personally used these options throughout my career, but keep in mind that just because one person doesn't use them does not disqualify you from needing to use it. That's everything. Thanks, and see you in the next video.